So if dealing with an array is uh, dealing with a collection of data types, what happens when I want to uh, work with a collection of a collection? What if I want to work now with a table? Well, we actually kind of work the same way. If we thought about this as just one group of elements, uh, for example, Chicago, I would come in here and do a traditional array, uh, int square bracket Chicago equals curly brace uh, 0, 9, 8, 3, 7, 8, 7, 7, 1, 4, uh, 1, 37, 5, 9, 6, 7, uh, 1, 87. I know I didn't say those all correctly, but I would store this just like uh, any one of these normal uh, arrays, uh, a single dimensional array. But now I want to deal with the fact that I'm going to be uh, handling not just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different uh, cities in this case. So now what I want to do is I want to look at this and go, all right, well, how can I store this information? Well, what I want to think about is this guy right here. This guy right here. This is actually more along the lines of saying I have a collection of integer data types. So what that means is now we can take that same idea and we can expand on it. I'm going to have a collection I'm going to have a collection of something. Well, what I'm going to have is now I'm going to have a collection of a collection of data types. Basically, all I do is I add a square bracket uh, to the very end. And this allows me now to uh, create a uh, table. Now, the same kind of concept would come in here. If I said something like uh, distance equal new int, if it was a single dimensional array, I would use just one square bracket and I would say how big it is. In our case, seven. Since I'm dealing with two element, uh, two dimensions, I'm dealing with a row and a column, I would then in turn come in here and I would say the second dimension's length. Now, the one thing that I wanna throw out there is this first one, if we're looking at this as a table, this is dealing with my row. This is dealing with my column. So you might remember uh, way back in the day you learned in Microsoft Eclipse. Uh, if I needed to reference uh, an element in a cell, I would do something like B13. This was my column. This was my row. The same thing's coming on here. Uh, except for we've just swapped the positioning of these two. Now, if I wanted to in turn take this data and apply it, oh, one thing that we can think about is this array, instead of Chicago, Boston, New York, Atlanta, Miami, Dallas, Houston, what I would in turn think about is more along the lines of looking at it in the idea of indices. Now I'm not just dealing with one indices, I'm dealing with two indices. And again, just like we would in Excel land, I basically play battleship with my indices to figure out which one I'm dealing with. Now say for example, this guy, this 214 right here. I wanna store that one. Well, actually that's a two one, so row two, column one. So what I would do is I would come in and I would state let me scroll down a little bit. Distance at row two, column one equals 214. And I could do that with every single one of my elements. If I wanted to come in here and do it for uh, two, zero, Again, if we just look up at that table, two, zero, row two, zero column, which is 787, I would come in here and I'd just pass that number 
in here. 